Okay, let's see. It's gonna be uh, AS versus Aku Dog today. We're gonna be watching. We're gonna be watching Taiwan, Hong Kong, and MO game. So this is gonna be game one. Well, day one, game one, match one, first half. Let's see. Axe boy here coming out from Shiba. Oh, uh, Gardner. So the thing here is right. We we chose Gardner for opera singer, but it seems like there wasn't an opera singer. But I guess Gardner at the end of the day, that's gonna be a very nice fire orb used. So that's gonna be first bubble shield gone. Gardner, Will's Speedboost here should be able to apply and we're probably going to be able to roam around here for quite a bit of time here even for axe if you really want to stuff this area it's quite hard gardener running towards the back right now mm. Uh, realistically speaking, for Axeboy, for Axeboy, there's not much he could do except for just catch up in the situation, except, especially with current day meta as well. Gardner definitely has bubble ready to go. Uh, still trying to rotate around a little bit. Probably should be able to make it towards the next nearby pallet. And there might be a purple orb rotating around her soon. There should be. Uh, but you know, you move with that in mind. 60 seconds, very nice dodge here. We're going to take a normal hit, which is fine as well. Blink is currently ready to go, but even with Blink ready to go here, Gardner doing a very good job at um, just kind of blocking the window there for herself to use. Now, we do have Blink, but it's probably better not to use Blink right here. And, you know, if, if Axeboy decided to put down a yeah, tree a little bit earlier, probably would have been better. But Gardner here, the shield is going to be up. That's going to be a very nice shield. And seems like Axeboy will be forced here to use his Blink anyways. So, with that in mind, pretty nicely done from Gardner. It's currently a 90 second, 100 second containment. And it's three cypher machines pop. Currently, for ASS survivors, they know themselves that they have quite a big. How do I say? They have quite a big vantage point here. Not only is Mercenary Cypher Machine in, in middle, but Cheerleader and Patient has already finished off their own Cypher Machine. But uh, Patient First Rescue might not be for the best, in my humble opinion, because this is. Uh. Uh, you want Mercy to finish his Cypher Machine first? Okay, then. I guess that's fair since he's pretty far away. Now, for Patience, it, what matters most is really just to dodge a fireballs. We didn't get... Ah, okay. Okay, never mind. Gardner moving speed boost off from chair. Mm, that persona kind of hurts now, there now, doesn't it? Nostalgic as well. We seem like we didn't really manage to play the mind game there probably, but also, that was a slow vault. If that was a little bit of a faster vault, it could have definitely been way better. Could have definitely been with her. But nah, I guess I guess on that side, no, it's still a tie game. It's still a tie game right now. It seems like the game's currently on Axe Boy's side because Cheerleader was rotating. But with Cheerleader rotating there, it probably would have been better if they just let Merc do the rescue and then Patient decode and then Cheerleader finish Merc's Cypher Machine. Because like Mercenary decodes... Wait, 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 wait. Um... There goes the end. There goes the end of that. Okay, mercenary. That's gonna be elbow pot coming in straight immediately. But even if you do get this rescue, it's currently a double down situation. Axe boy shouldn't be too. Ooh, mm, okay, nice hit. Mark hit. Mark hit. Mark. Okay. Okay. End result is okay. At least end. At least we know that end result is still the same. End result right now is still the same, which is pretty much good news. Pretty much good news. Because like no impatient coming in to rescue means that mercenaries decoding. There was three cipher machines left. They're basically still missing a full cipher machine there. So like even with that on mind, you know, like like in that situation, it's probably better for Merc to move immediately towards the middle and patient decode Shaq instead of. You know, us doing this type of shabang where patients come in to rescue instead. Because, like, you can just force a rescue and you cannot rebound Kai. Not against a... Well, not against... Uh, not against the first person of my axe boy, anyway, when it comes to Gardner. There's really nothing Gardner can do, so you can't blame Gardner on that. But, let him. Two side for machine. Uh, remaining uh, 40%. Axe Boy round one still is kind. It's still kind of hard to play Axe Boy round one. It really is. It really, really, really is. Uh, we seem like we are. We do have tonight as we're looking for heal. Axe Boy looking towards the back right here, but there's no one behind. Oh, sees who's in front. Um, a bit of a dangerous situation, ain't it, boys and girls? Oh well, there's Mercy down. Okay. Okay. That I I that that that, that cheerleader looks like me when I play rank. Okay. Nice. Um, cheerleader half health. Cheerleader does have two pom-pom and a flywheel here to use. So flywheel can at least help you mitigate the first uh, soul. Uh, but it seems like we're going to cheer away here instead with another orb rotating around us using moon speed booster just to get away from Max Hoy. But ah, it seems like cheerleaders... Oh, yeah, whoa, 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 we blink. Okay. Oh, you know what? Fair enough. If we blink, then we blink. 
Uh, I, I would have, I probably would have used Fireball first, even if there was Flywheel and then Blink, since we can get the Flywheel out. But you know what? Whatever works for Cheerleader here. They're missing one uh, last eye finishing, and it seems like Patient's currently decoding it right now. Mercenary did manage to get up. Mercenary double elbow pad. Uh, Survivor side for machine wise. We're currently starting a new one, but with accelerated decoding, Patient with no decoding debuff. Everything here should be fine. Mercenary seeing where Axeboy is right now, but also Axeboy. Tad bit afraid of where uh, Axeboy should be afraid. Should be very, very, very afraid here of, of uh, Mercenary Backdoor Rescue because that'll be very bad. But since Shirley is going to be going straight after half now, overall it shouldn't be too bad. Okay, there's Mercenary first level pad there being used. You you could use second. Is that before half? That is no, that is after half. Okay, kind of. Uh. That could have been before half, but I still feel like for Mercenary is a bit risky there to rescue. But Axeway did a really good job on. Well, I wouldn't say good. Well, the reflexes are nice, but. Once again, your your fire orbs really just depend on your luck. Your fire orb really depend on your luck. Uh, we are going back straight towards Mercenary here. So we're going to cheer Mercy instead. Most likely going to slug Mercenary endgame. So with that in mind, Cheerleader coming to rescue. You know, preferably speaking here, what we should be doing is we need to wait for Cheerleader to get half, half a little bit more pom pom. But no, I guess that works too. No, I guess that works too. Hey, we didn't. Okay, at least we didn't pom pom. That's good news. Mercenary. Has used up self heal, but we decide not to go after Merc here. Uh, we still haven't changed to teleport yet. Hmm. Hmm. Axe is kind of getting ready for endgame then, if that's the case. Oh, we missed again. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, the thing is, even if we pop the Cypher Machine here, uh, I would say Cheerleader should vault that and pop. Yeah. And then pop. Yep. Yeah. Sounds about right to me. Next pop, we should be ready in around 20 seconds if I'm not wrong. So that's going to be the drop down. Oh no, next pump one is ready in 40 seconds. I was just checking recharge time. Uh, Nice palace done there, but it seems like it's still going to be a tie game overall. Should still be a tie game here. Axeboy did okay. Axeboy didn't do the worst, but like Gardner first chase. Uh, like spending too long on chasing Gardner as Axeboy is a bit of an issue. I feel, even though I would say dodging fireballs is easy enough, but... But, you know, since there's no dungeon here anyways, everything should be... We should just blink down. We should... Yeah, we should blink down. Okay, let's congratulate the Thai here for survivors moving on straight towards second half. Now then, let's move on towards second half. We're going to be able to see Sito's Dream Witch. Dream Witch round one isn't the worst, but it seems like Survivor Survivor has planned this out pretty well. Uh, Psycho is kind of the Dream Witch counter there, but also Magician with the Opera counter, so they were kind of 50 50 in for this one. But with Dream Witch here as the Hunter, Patient being able to pick up that D-Leech. No, Patient didn't pick up that D-Leech mark. Okay, Patient. Okay, very nice. Palace Zone, we'll take that. We will take that. Patient doing that if, that if it wasn't for that palace, it would have been really bad, wouldn't it? Uh, but let me see. Uh, we're gonna roam around this area. Meanwhile, patient's gonna go back towards where his leech was. Going back towards the leech isn't necessarily the worst, but right now you can only take the hit via the leech. So you need to bring your main forward back and then hit the leech and then go straight towards patient here. When you, you, you're mainly aiming for a fast down. You're not really kind of aiming for map control here, so it's mm, kind of understandable on my side. No, from what I'm seeing, it's kind of understandable. But also, Dream Witch pulling out here, going straight back towards Patience. Patience, yeah, Patience in a nutshell, you need to get that patroller down, but it seems like that patroller might be a little bit slow here. Is it? Oh, it's not slow. Oh, just on time. Okay, just on time. That was a little bit better than I expected. Cancelling our hook there. And seems like Dream Witch can actually... Oh, we didn't get a hit. But we just, okay, the dog bit, which is good news. But two and a half side for machine, don't know second containment. Overall, right now, it's still really good for the hunter. We did manage to finish the side for machine from magician side. Magician, no decoding debuff. No basement nearby as well, a bit unfortunate. It seems like right now for our dream watch, 30% two man escape. Though 30% two man escape is really good right here. 30% two man escape is really, really, really good right here. Um, but even with that in mind, it seems like it's going to be Aeroplanus first rescue here. Aeroplanus Tide Turner, which is good. There's no slow decoders outside, which is also a brilliant thing. No slow decoders kind of just mean that your 90 second containment is a guaranteed tie game right here. Unless you get a double down situation, it's, which is not possible. Uh, we're going to tank the normal hit from patient side. Patient, no items remaining. And for our little Aeroplanus right now, Dream Witch trying to find a leech to stop them from decoding. That's probably going to be your best bet here. Dream Witch, can we... Okay, we can leech now so we're gonna leech throw it back towards factory and there's gonna be one leech at each entrance of factory it seems okay 
Okay, overall, it's still not the worst. Psycho currently healing Aeroplanist. So I guess if that's the case, Aero is going to be the one coming in to rescue again. He does still have three jetpacks. He does still have hover. He shouldn't be someone that's afraid of coming in to rescue here. The other two survivors should just mainly focus on decoding and let Aeroplanist do what they have to do. Even if Aeroplanist builds rescue here, they do have a 60% Cypher machine that they can pop. Just so, just so they can... Uh, get someone else to get rescue in case we feel rescue there okay we are gonna get the vault in but it seems like oh aeroplane is very nice reflexes i like that i like that a lot and out he goes we do still have patrollers while here but for dream Witch, for dream Witch right now the game is not at such a good uh not not a good not a, what was i about to say it's not a at a good point because the other two cypher machines are going to be finished up soon you just manage the map control mid game and there goes down okay there it goes down there goes down arrow but with arrow going down here you can it can only mean a tie because cycle comes in mm, no mm, yeah only cycle can come in to rescue arrow has to hover uh you cannot leech on towards psychologist here because you're in 40 second cooldown and if that's the case, like if you can't leech on towards Psycho, that's that's the main issue, right? If you can leech on towards Psycho, there's a chance for three man elimination. But right now, since Aeroplane has took the took the leech, uh, it's it's gonna be more of a tie game for me. You could just immediately rescue here, and then one goes upstairs, one goes outside. If Aero, if, if 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 Psycho gets chased her, it's fine. Honestly, it's fine. Honestly, it's fine here. But for Aeroplane, D leeching is a must. De leeching is a huge must here. We're gonna be able to leech on towards Magician right now. Magician seems like he get a little bit of a sandwich situation here for himself, but even with the sandwich situation here in mind, as, as long as Psycho is at the other gate, they can pop anytime. As long as Psycho is at the other gate, they can pop anytime. So Magician popping the Cypher Machine here, three ones here remaining. Uh, but with Leech Hish, with Leech Hish, it doesn't seem like the that matters. And of course, Aeroplane does have 99% de-leech progress, so he could just hover in. He could just hover in. He could fly up and then jetpack in. Uh, there's no basement nearby, so that goes that for Magician. No basement nearby, so that goes that for Magician. We're not changing the blink, but we did get the bike. Okay then, let's congratulate the tie game here from both sides for game one. Let's move on directly towards... Oh, didn't get a hit. Let's move on directly towards game two.